Hello, good evening and welcome back. Um, another video tonight and uh, we're going to be doing something we haven't done for a little while and uh, we're going to be doing a big mess test. Yes, uh, this one's going to be the biggest one I've done to date because all the dirt that I've saved up for the last several months all the dirt in my bins that I got out of the handhelds, all the dirt that I picked up from the last big mess test is now going to be put down and given to the Miele S7 today. Yes, the Miele S7 or the U1, here it is. I don't think I've done a big mess test with this one yet. Um, I was thinking about uh, doing one with the Kirby. I was thinking about doing this big mess test with that, and then I thought, um, mm, I don't think even the Kirby are cope with this one, because uh, being dirty fan, the, uh, there's a good chance that uh, anything in here could get uh, clogged up in the fan, and I just don't know whether the Kirby would be able to cope. So, why not find out whether the Kirby can cope? And if it can't cope, then we'll get the S7 in. Let's try that. If the Kirby can't cope with this, we'll try it with the S7. And then whatever, whichever one wins, whichever one wins, right at the end of it, when it's all cleaned up, I'm going to go over it. And I'm going to go over it with this. The Dyson V8. I'm not going to use the Dyson V8 on the big mess test, because if I did, it would invalidate the guarantee on this machine, because this should be constituted as abuse, okay? Big mess tests are not what you would find in the average home, in the average situation. They are solely for entertainment purposes, because I know that people like to see big mess tests. They like to see vacuum cleaners chomping up large amounts of dirt. Not more dirt than they would ever be expected to find in your average household uh, situation. Um, so, we're going to be cleaning it up with a cleaner that I haven't got that's under warranty. Basically, it's at my risk. I do it to this machine or the Kirby at my own risk. If it breaks the machine, I've got no one to blame but myself. Okay? I can't go to the manufacturer for it. They're both out of warranty. The Miele's out of warranty. The Kirby's long out of warranty. Okay? That's a 2003 machine, this is a 2009. So, you know, they are out of warranty, but this isn't. So once the carpet is visibly clean, then we're going to go over and see if any of these left anything in the carpet with this. Okay? That's what we're going to do. So, here is the carpet. This is... Um, Probably about the biggest big mess test that I've ever done on here. And pretty much you can't see the carpet for the dirt. And there is everything here. As in the uh, case of my last big mess tests, we are using normal household dirt. So that's dust, pet hair, carpet fibres plus the additional amounts of flour that I threw in for previous big mess tests. So obviously um, we can see all of these the rice particles here, the porridge particles, there's even large particles here like bread wraps. Um, there are, that's a tumble dryer, well part of a tumble dryer sheet there. So there's large debris in there as well, there's corn flakes, there's you know, big clumps of pet hair in there, and I've um, rubbed it all in as well, so we're going to see just how much. We'll try with that one first, and if the Kirby can't do it, we'll try with the Miele. If the Kirby does do it, I can always do the Miele again at another date, okay? But we're going to find out, I want to try and see, can this the cleaner that everybody says is the best deep cleaner in the world, that you can't get better than a Kirby. We're going to see if it can get rid of all this. And I strongly think that it won't be able to. Being dirty fan, I think that it will get clogged up. It may even jam the motor, we'll have to find out. 
using a dirty fan on something like this is not really a brilliant idea but I've seen other people do it um, you know they've used like sanitaires the Americans have to do this sort of thing but um, let's find out I've never done a big mess test using this with so much dirt before okay can the Kirby do it let's just check on the bag first in the back check the bag in the back first the Kirby has got these have large bags on the back, okay? So this one's pretty empty. There's a tiny little bit of dirt in the bottom here. But otherwise, it is a Micron Magic bag. This is the HEPA Flow bag, so it shouldn't, not supposed to lose that much uh, suction, okay? Now I'm going to try and get it back. No, what I'll do, I'll put the camera back up here and then I'll put the bag in the back of the Kirby and then we'll start. So there we go, focusing down onto the dirt on the carpet. That is quite a mess, isn't it? I'm really, really giving it a challenge here. The uh, Sebo Felix here has already done a big mess test in case you're wondering, that's already on the channel uh, for those people that can see this, it's, it's already passed it with flying colours. I did something similar, but now what I will do first, I will go over it initially with the floor head slightly higher so that it can attempt to try and pick up the larger debris, otherwise it will just snow plow. Right, let's go.
absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable that that has managed to do that. That has absolutely amazed me, that has. A dirty fan cleaner could pick all that up without so much as a hiccup. That is unbelievable. This bag on the back of here is so packed. It's, it weighs absolutely so heavy. It's literally weighing the handle down. The bag is that heavy, look. It <laughs> literally weighs an absolute ton. Right, let's just have a check. Literally the, the back of the machine wants to keep falling over all the time. That is really, really, really heavy. The amazing thing is though, it uh, it didn't lose hardly any airflow either, because I could still feel the pull onto the carpet as I was testing at the end, lifting it away, and it was still lifting the carpet up under the nozzle. So, let's just have a quick look at the, um, the bottom here. Ah, now, slight little bit has dropped out the bottom, look. Slight little bit's dropped out the floor head. Let's just have a quick look, see what if we've got any clogs in here. Yeah, there is a little bit that's still in the floor head there. So it uh, hasn't got absolutely everything out. Let's just take the floor head off. I'm still amazed that it was actually doing so well. A little bit clogged in here. Not too bad. Yeah, what about the fan? It's done absolutely fantastically well, that machine has. A little bit there left in the nozzle. Let's see if we can uh, clean that up first before I put the Dyson over it. Give it its maximum chance to, uh, to do it. Come on. Put the belt back on. And we'll just put the bag back in. That's crazy. The weight in here. So I think... Uh, We'll have to sacrifice this curvy bag because I can't really uh, use this one again. It doesn't want to go back in now. Because there's so much dirt packed into it, it's, it doesn't look like it's going to go back in and do the zip up. Come on you. difficult this is now to try and get this empty back in. It's literally packed, packed the bag. So I'm not surprised it did lose a little bit of suction in the end I think because the bag was so full. But let's just get that, that last bit up.
Right, in the last sort of six minutes, let's uh, just go over and see what we can get out with this in max. There we go. So this this is basically how we would um, go about doing the job. Um, if we were going to do our house, we'd just go over one pass over the carpet, and uh, that was on max, as you can see. So uh, that was giving it the full uh, 115 air watts of suction. So now what I'm going to do? There's no camera trickery involved here. Everything's done live. No editing. I'm going to tip out the contents of this. I'm going to find something to tip it onto that shows the um, shows the dirt up better than what this carpet would here. So I'm going to put it onto this little pad, which is the base of the old uh, scratching post the cat used to have. So I will just empty the Dyson's bin. Here it is. The bin was empty to start with, and I was, as we can see, there isn't a whole lot in there. There's a little bit in there. Let's just tip it out. That's the other trouble with this. You keep knocking that by mistake and you not, shouldn't do that really when the, uh, the top's open. Here we go then. There we go. So, out of all the big mess test, there, that machine, and uh, it literally filled the bag to capacity, it couldn't hold much more, well it could, but uh, you're not supposed to fill it above the max line. Uh, a small bit got uh, stuck in the nozzle after it, but uh, I went over and picked that up after. So as far as I was concerned, how it's left this carpet here is basically how we've gone to 
uh, test it with the Dyson in Max that's supposed to remove more dirt than any other vacuum uh, according to Dyson but it has removed some more dirt but that's all there we can see there's a small little bit of uh, fine dust there a few little parts, particles of rice that uh, the Kirby might have missed it could have been around the edge there but uh, I think that's a, that's a pretty pretty good attempt for that old Kirby we're looking at a machine there that uh, the design of that is uh, 1990 that came out, 91 uh, the G3 platform so that machine there it's good 27 years old in design although that one might not be 27 years old that one's uh, 2003 I think let's just check the date on it the camera's not going to focus is it it's 0302 basically so uh, that's February 2003 when that one was made so that's pretty good I think um, the Kirby has really really well passed that test it really has uh, I am absolutely astounded that I thought that would get jammed up straight away with all that big amounts of fluff and hair in those big clumps but it went straight to the fan no trouble all that grit all those stones all that cat litter that was in there you heard it all going through absolutely no damage to this machine whatsoever it may have clogged the bag slightly but it managed to get it all though didn't it and that was all the Dyson could get out at the end of the day so yes it does uh, it does uh, leave a slight bit in the carpet but well, next time we do it we'll try that big mess test we'll try it with this machine again it's another bagged machine um, so those of you might be disappointed that uh, we didn't use the mealer well it's because the Kirby didn't fail and those that know what that noise means it's I'm nearly out of time uh, so yes uh, the next one we'll probably do with this uh, that one passed the test this one the biggest test by far for a dirty fan machine it passed it with flying colours as far as I was concerned and that's all that the Dyson V8 could manage to get out after so until then, we'll uh, see you on the next video. Bye for now.